and a comedian who hosts a podcast set in beautiful Devon, which explains why he's always got jam on his top and cream on his bottom. It's Mike Wozniak. <laughs> so I think it could be true. Would it, would it help if I change my mind? Yes. Oh, yes, it would. I've decided I think it's true. OK, we think it's true. Great. <laughs> Mike's got another gig to get to. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're next. As a child, because I was so shy, I named all the toes on my left foot and formed a gang with them. <laughs> <laughs> Least. Whew. OK. Well, would you like to tell us the names of the... Uh... Of the game, starting with the big toe and going down the row. Big toe was, was Daddy Bruiser. Daddy Bruiser. <laughs> yeah. The the one next to it was was Long Pete. <laughs> because it's un that toe's unusually long on me. Just be before you say any more, just remember there will be a recap. Right. <laughs> yeah, sure. Keep these names short and rhyming. <laughs> okay. And then there was uh, Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay. <laughs> the the one in the you middle. Taking my advice then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then the, the one that my ring toe I named after my Auntie Barbara. What, what was that one called? That was called Auntie Barbara. Oh, not just Barbara. Auntie Barbara. Auntie Barbara. Auntie Barbara. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and the one at the end was called uh, Crushed Daisy because I, I used to have a lot of accidents and I used to sort of wang my foot into, you know, like skirting boards or whatever it would be. Why Auntie Barbara rather than any other auntie? Uh, she's my only auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely watertight. Yeah. <laughs> Does she? <laughs> <laughs> That's an unusual thing to say about someone's auntie. Your auntie looks very watertight. <laughs> so would you talk to your toes? I would talk to them at night. It was, it was night time when I'd get particularly nervous. <laughs> Let's go back to young Mike in his bedroom alone at night yeah. with his gang. Just recreate for us a little interaction with the toe gang. It's not going to be untoward, is it? Your parents aren't at the door hearing you say, come on, let me give you a little stroke, Auntie Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at the end of the bed is a wardrobe where the wood carving is quite sort of ghoulish, oh. quite a sort of munchy and scream thing, which I think was part of the problem. And I'd say, I'd, I'd tuck the, the toes in, don't look at that guy, he can't hurt you, he's made of wood. And then we'd get under the duvet with a little torch and I'd light them up one by one, would occasionally sort of draw little hats on them and faces and stuff. Did you not think to ask your parents to just move the cupboard that was scaring you? I did repeatedly. And, and they just didn't? They refused. Because they, they hey, what? They refused to tow the line. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for that, round of applause. What <laughs> I want to know <laughs> is really? whether some people groaned and clapped. <laughs> So, what was going through their mind? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Leisha, what are you thinking? I don't think it's the truth. Because no? I feel like, why would you only focus on one foot if you've got another five on this side? Alan, what do you think? It is so bizarre, it has to be true. Does I mean, it? I feel terribly sorry for you, really. I think it's... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? I'm going to say it's a lie. It's a lie. OK. Mike, truth or lie? I was, in fact, telling a lie. <laughs> Yes, it's a lie. Mike did not name his toes. Our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. This week, each of David's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest. It's up to Lee's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Amanda. <laughs> Oh, Mike, what is Amanda to you? Uh, this is Amanda. I once hospitalised her with my elaborate dance moves. <laughs> Mike, mm. how old were you? A around 20, may maybe 19. OK, and where were you? Uh, where was I? I suppose... Um, well, don't suppose. I was... Tell me where you were. I was... <laughs> I was in quite an experimental phase of my... Dance journey is where I was. <laughs> <laughs> I meant geographically, but fine. Tell us more about the uh, dance journey. I was kind of, I've got, well, no formal training in dance, um, but at that time uh, it was quite, it was quite muscular, vigorous, um, but it's sort of heavy storytelling element to it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda was a, a friend. Um, well, and is to this day, but she, she was one of the few people who, who would be, you know, was, was happy to take me on, who would um, 
take you on. Take me on dance wise, take me on the discotheque. And, so basically, um, it, was it in a disco? It was a normal everyday discotheque. Right. Uh, and, 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 was, you, and you were in there yeah. with your friend? With, with a bunch of friends. And how did you know Amanda? How did I know Amanda? I don't know, I wasn't there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> students. <laughs> students. OK. And you said you told a story in your dance. Telling a story, yeah. What was the story this particular night? Uh, Ragnarok. <laughs> I was trying to retell um, the, sort of the Nordic apocalypse. <laughs> And um, the finishing move was uh, the, the problem lay with it. I was trying out a sort of power pirouette. Can you um, show us the power pirouette? I don't, well, it's been 20 years. I could try. Oh, okay. But the, it's like it would, it, the, the point of the power pirouette is very much the fulcrum is the heel rather than the, right. the toe. Yeah. So you're trying to do the full 360 with this sort of kind of cowboy swish at the end. <laughs> yeah. At, at which point you kind of, you sort of, you, they're reeling and you sort of saunter. <laughs> <laughs> away, yeah. and I, I then did a sort of, a, a sort of tight, a tight funk twist, <laughs> expecting to see Amanda, but Amanda was gone, and I just assumed, I assumed she was tired, she was exhausted, but it turned out that my the fulcrum, my heel, mm -hmm. uh, I'd done it on her on her, her right big toe, long uh, Pete. It, the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she called her toes. But the, the, the talk was such uh, that it ripped her toenail clean out. <gasps> wow. And that was just from you talking? <sighs> that was... Didn't, but I didn't you didn't out... feel that with the... Usually I when you find stand on something, hours, you know no. you've stood on something. I didn't know, of course. I mean, if I'd known, I'd have... I'm not a monster. I have to say, that's some of the finest dancing we've ever seen Thank on this Thank you. Show. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, that very good. That's right up there with some of my stuff. <laughs> What are you going to say? So you think it's... I think it might be at the zoo. I think it might be at the zoo. OK, then we'll go with my team and say it's Philippa. You're saying that it's Philippa taking her cat, Kevin, to the zoo. Right. Amanda, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Amanda, and Mike's dance moves put me in hospital. <laughs> oh. <laughs>